In the artwork in front of us, we have a highly symbolic painting known as Woman with a Book by Pablo Picasso. Picasso was an extremely well-known Spanish 20th century painter, sculptor, ceramicist, poet, and more. The artistic genius of Picasso has inspired several artists around the globe to pursue many mediums of art, focusing on cubism and surrealism. The Spanish painter, along with Georges Braque, was a founder and pioneer of the cubism movement one of the most influential styles of art in the 20th century, which focuses on the structure of geometrical shapes, interlocking planes, and collage to create a form of art. Much of Picasso's work in the early 20th century was a rather neoclassical style, a movement in art that draws inspiration from classical art and culture, which is established in ancient Greek and Rome. After founding Cubism in 1907, he then transitioned to Surrealism in the mid-1920s. The artwork, Woman with a Book, is inspired by Surrealism, an artistic movement which focuses on freeing the imaginative potential of the unconscious mind. During the neoclassical era, Picasso painted many canvases of women, all portraying his mistress, Marie Theresa Walter. In this artwork, the female character seems to have taken a momentary break from her reading to daydream. In this painting, Picasso uses bright colors, focuses on shades of blues, reds, and oranges, which immediately grabs the audience's attention. The background, however, is painted with much duller and muted colors, such as brown, black, and a muted purple tone. The only bright color in the background of the female cast is a yellow on the rims of a mirror which reflects a side profile of a woman, strategically placed to grab attention. According to the Norden Simon Museum, the serene profile reflected in a mirror at right in Picasso's portrait likewise references its neoclassical presentment but may also continue an abstract self-portrait. Dividing the thick coats of colored paint are bolded black lines outlining the artwork and further emphasizing certain aspects of the piece. According to Flickr, this work seems to exude warmth and happiness, a delightful feeling of contentment, which seems to reflect the artist's enduring affection for Marie Theresa Walter. The reason why the display of vibrant colors in the image represents the immense amount of love Picasso had for Marie is that it symbolizes life with her, colorful and joyous not a single dullness in sight. Masterworks Fine Arts asserts that Marie was the most enduring love of his life, perhaps the only woman who made him truly happy, and Picasso's paintings of her, while highly sensual, is suffused with a tenderness that is absent from his paintings of other women. As for the elements of light in this piece, we see many highlights and shadows. In the mirror, with the reflection of a woman's side profile, we see the use of a dark shadow. This creates the illusion of a light source. The contradiction of a deep black with a bright white makes the mirror stand out to the audience, especially because the rest of the artwork is painted with bright colors, such as red and blue. There is also another shadow right before the mirror of a dark cast, which seems to be the shadow of Marie. Judging by the window facing the outside of the house, it is nighttime, meaning that there is no natural light coming in. This gives the idea that there is a form of light from the lower left side of the image, which is the source of shadows and highlights. The artwork uses the element of lines appropriately as well. The vertical lines of the book show that Marie is not focused on a certain page, and she is rather letting the pages flutter, which adds to my previous comment that she has taken a momentary break to daydream. The curved line representing her arm shows that she is resting her head in the palm of her hand, which is a common practice one does when they are deeply contemplating. The Met Museum states that the image of a woman with a pensive gaze, open book, and head weighing heavily on one hand is a classic image of melancholy. Picasso may have had painted Marie having a daydream to symbolize her emotions and thoughts concerning her relationship to Picasso. However, the bright colors argue that regardless of Marie's concerns and questionings of their relationship, she will always be the light of his life. The meaning I derive from this piece of artwork is that even though life can be tough and questionable at times, 
It is important to know the value we hold for others and the happiness we bring to them, just like the immense joy Marie brings to Picasso. By helping us recognize the power we have over one's happiness, this artwork enriches our understanding of the world among us.